What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back. Time to continue along with our coverage of the capital. Previously, we started here and wrapped up all of, I guess, the eastern portion of the capital. And now we're working our way into Lower Lendell. I don't think it has a specific name, but that's what I like to call it. Uh, so anyway, we already grabbed the Black Bow on the rooftops in the last part. So we're going to be starting right from here. This is the shortcut, the little elevator. Uh, but just head on down. This place is filled with putrid corpses. There we go. Let's see. We got this guy. There's the golden rune. And the corpses are coming out. Let's blood flame blade. Uh, so we have a rune. Smithing four on the left. Stone sword key. Past that. These are gravel stones. And most of these guys, we're just honestly, we're just going to run past. We'll let them gather up and then we'll kill them all. We have fought these things numerous times. Y'all know they're not a threat. We're not worried about them. The skellies can actually pack a punch, so we will kill those. But after the skellies we killed out in the capital, or out in uh, Altus, these guys actually feel a lot easier. So, there's our stone sword key. We got the room, we got the gravel. Uh, smithing four. Actually, the smithing four might have been an enemy drop, now that I think about it, because I'm not seeing it. Uh, we'll go that way in just a second. Just finish this. Let's go in here. There's a bunch of enemies in here. Just keep running. They're gonna all be throwing shit, so we're just running until we get up to the ones at top. This makes it a little bit easier, because now the rest of them are like, Oh shit, this guy's going on a murder spree. There we go. Okay, clarifying boluses. Uh, we turn and go left, then jump off the bridge. Well, this guy. I'm not entirely convinced that rune four was a drop from one of these guys, so I'm gonna take a quick loop for it. I mean, I feel like I would see it, given that it's nighttime. And never mind, we've made it through the night, it's almost morning time. We got that. I don't need to kill you. Yeah, it had to have been a drop. Alright, well, I mean, whatever. It's a rune four. We're not that worried about it anyway. Uh, head on over here. Towards the bridge. And we have a seed beast coming up. After the seed beast, we're going to drop and go towards that guy. Take a loop around here. I don't believe there's anything. Hoping the bleed would kill him. Not quite. It's pretty close. Right, you should take this guy down with ease. The golden seed off of him. Uh, after the seed beast, we have the smithing stone six. And I thought there was something else down here. But I'm not seeing anything else. Let me see. Um, seed beast. I got the seed arrows. Yeah, seed arrows, smithing six. Golden arrows. There's a shiny, it's up there though, so don't worry about it. We'll get to him later. That is, uh, where is that? Oh, never mind. It's it's on the other side. We're going over there in a bit. The guilty hood. I want to put on your lantern. This area is not too dark. This is just a, uh, Minor little sewer thing. Item up there we'll get a bit later. No, wait. Yeah, we get that later. Hang on. Kill these guys. Stop it. Uh, which, by the way, your beast torch also works on rats, I discovered. I mean, the rats aren't a giant concern, but, you know, they're rats nonetheless. Kill them off. Uh, and that's going to be it for now. We're going to be going through there in just a little bit, but for the time being, just kind of ignore it. We have a real knight in here. Go on, give him a beat down before he can do anything. Crack 
jackpot. And right out here is where we fought the seed beast. So, instead of that, uh, take the ladder up. Okay. Turn and go left for the jump off bridge. See the steps, take the ladder up and go for the grace. There's the grace that I pointed out earlier. I'm gonna grab that now. And we're gonna, not gonna need to go back there, so if you wanna do a full rest and spend runes, you can. Um, pick up Lionel's armor. Pick up the deathbed dress. If you want to farm the Omen Killer, this is a great one to farm. It's right next to the Grace. Get his mask or whatever else you need. And yeah, we got it. It's the second time I've seen that in a row. That might be a guaranteed drop. Um, there is that ladder. You may remember that from before. Uh, so Omen Killer. See the ladder we kicked down back in the sewer and into the room with the knight. Uh, sea Beast arrows. Down the stairs, take a right and work around killing everything. Oh no, we're gonna go to, okay. Uh, so hop over here, Avenue Balcony. Oh, this we got in the last episode a little bit earlier. Um, there's a, a little area left that we're gonna use before we kind of do the, the other part of the lowerness here. So some, um, yeah, let's push you up. I really wanna get it to where I can use a great shield because it would be fun. Let's see how are we looking how are we looking damn heavy load just heavy load all day to be fair you know what if i go for the fashion of crucible damn still heavy load what if i did that you know what i get another talisman soon i'm not gonna worry about it we're gonna get that talisman and everything's gonna be gravy um we'll get that in the next episode fourth talisman pouch baby it's almost there we have a shortcut door here we're gonna get that later that's uh connected to the subterranean area which sucks so you can see an archer immediately run to your right kill this guy first and buff up if you want doesn't really matter you can see right down there that's where we fought the seed beast grab the golden rune now the archer is looking for us the old bamboozle 50% of the time, it works every time. Run over here and kill this crew. Uh, if you get tired of testing on the giants, I actually really like testing on these guys because the knights give you, I mean, they're, they're right next to a bonfire, they're short and sweet. Um, all in all, not a bad test bed, you know, for figuring out weapon damage and whatnot. Uh, they're a little bit beefier than, than your typical junk guy. Uh, so let's see. Um, we're going to get the loot by the big gate. We're going to actually open this up later. So this will be a... I guess you could call it a shortcut. Uh, we're going to take... Ignore the ladder for now. We're going to be getting over there later. Instead, we're going to drop down. That's part of the, the sewer zone that we're going to go through. We're just going to go over here and get a couple of loose loots. Okay. Somber six. And then there should be... There we go. Some gravel stone. And then there's another one there. Okay. We got those. Uh, zone east we cleared. Zone west we haven't. Go uh, down the ladder and in the corner for loot and some gravel stones. Back up and drop down and rush a shiny. Yes. Now we go this way, and right over there you can see a shiny guy. Now there's a bunch of dudes that are going to try and rush you, so we're trying to kill this shiny first. And that is a big juicy hit. Alright, I think we're good. Now if you go down this way, there's a piece of loot waiting for us at the end. Pickle turtleneck. Um, let's see. We're gonna go over here to grab this. Shiny, kill the dudes, pick that up. Uh, it's another part of the like lower sewer area. Don't worry about that. We're gonna get to the that in just a little bit. Uh get the other item then down in the well. Okay. Now up until now. You've seen a couple little sewer zones, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, I cleared the capital sewers. Yeah, no, you have no idea 
the capital sewers are so much deeper and so much more depraved. Get the rune arc and then open this. Now, we're not doing this area in this episode. In fact, we're going to get through almost the entire capital before we do this area. Um, but, let's going to kind of get you up to the very first grace of this area. Just run on through. There's a bunch of rats. You can pull out the beast torch if you want. Here. Sorry, we can't get this open yet, so we're good there. Um, unless they patch them, you can actually farm these rats for rune arcs as well. It might be, maybe it's the ones that are a little bit deeper. Hmm. Pop this open. And here we are, the subterranean shunning grounds. Now this place sucks. This is honestly my least favorite zone in the game. Um, very labyrinthy, very easy to get lost, and just to kind of show, the enemies hit like absolute dump trucks. Oh boy. Of course you can't parry them, so. This is why, for so long, I've been talking about, like, I hope you're ready to parry these things, because... Like, look at the health on this thing. Yeah, they are not fun. Not fun at all. Um, but yeah, so... Saving this for another area. Don't worry about it for now. Uh, grab loot's open gate. Pursue a beast torch. Second ladder drop down. Da -da 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 -da. Next, we're gonna go to the lower capital church. Over here. This is back where the omen killer was that we were fighting. Instead, you can ignore him. And we're gonna go this way. And drop on down. Ha-ha! And now we're actually gonna go through, like, the, the sewer portion. Now, this is just, like, the mini sewers that are attached to the capital. So this part is, is uh, you know, quick and easy. Um, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's my notes. Uh, put the door drop down. We're gonna go left first. Stop it. So, uh, continue left for the handsy. On the left side is a big handsy and a lost ashes of war. So we got a couple of these guys up top. I actually know some people that are like, oh yeah, the sewers? Yeah, yeah, I remember that with the hands and the rats. Yeah, I, was pretty, I got through it. It was a little hard. And I'm like, no, like, did you did you find the one with, like, the big guys and the yams? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, oh, oh, my poor sweet summer child. You, you have not seen the sewers. Which, I mean, the only, there's, like, two ways to get to it. One of them being that well that we climbed down. And it's like, you know, that's not, that's not a lot. Like, an entire zone that's just hidden down a well. And if you don't climb down the well, you're probably never going to see it. Like, that's crazy to me. There is so much in this game that is easily missed. Up there. So, Hansi is down. Um, we're good there. And now we're going to head down this path, the northwest one. Get the string. Uh, this one, there's some loots we can grab, but that's it. A lot of these gates we end up opening later, so just don't worry about them for now. Oh, you missed your grab, you suck. I continue going northwest. Come up behind this big boy. Drop on down and snatch up some goodies. Earth Steel Dagger. Huh. We used to get that from Kenneth Hyde. I wonder what he gives you now instead of the Earth Steel Dagger. 
uh, anyway, we're going to go up here, and this is going to bring us up right behind the big stone dragon. So right there is our steps we took down. Here is the dragon. Here are the baddies that we had killed previously. Um, so I would just ignore them. The whole point of taking this route was so that they're not going to bother us and you don't have to kill them. Instead, start hopping up the dragon. Up we go. Up we go. Come on. Up. 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 There we go. Man, there's a lot of stuff down below. And one shrub at the top. There we go. Pick up the rune arc. Oh, there's going to be a knight up ahead with a gravel stone. And then the dude's going to try and ambush us. And right after that, we got a grace waiting. Nah. Try and cast. Okay. These knights are they're really, really trying to get me to use my big hammer. Alright. Ambush here. Oh, I'm faster than you, buddy. The golden rune. And now a delightful grace to take a quick rest out. Uh, now, if you're good, if you don't need to rest, go for it. You know, you shouldn't need to really worry about it. Uh, but when you're ready to go, we're going to go down here. There's a cane sword. There. And we're going to continue ahead. Kill the bubble people. Hit the lever. And this is going to open up a big ass thing we saw earlier. Stop it. Um, actually, I think I got my gates and my doors mixed up. But just to, to kind of loop together where it's at. Remember where we fought the Erdtree monster? He's right down there. Right down here is where there was like three knights and one that had a sword. So just to, you know, piece it all together. Uh, so next, do, 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 do. we got that. Fill bubble men, open the gate, return and drop at the broken balcony for the smithing six and then inside for the page. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get all them in a little bit. Just ignore them for now. Instead, drop eh, down. Smithing six. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. The most dangerous prey. Oh. I was wondering if we'd actually see that in the walkthrough at all. But yeah, triple explosive bolts. Those guys will shred. Of course, the gargoyle and all that. Ignore that for now. We're going to get back to them later. Instead, we're going to drop down and drop down. And in this first stable, there is a dog. And these guys are casting bullshit, so just kind of wait for it. You can kill these dudes if you want, but they shouldn't aggro. What I like to do is come in here, get the one guy to come into the stables, just because he's going to struggle to get out. No, he's not walking in. That's okay. What we want to do is just split these guys up. We want to be able to kill the one before... We don't want to fight both at the same time. Killing them will get you the gravel stone seal. Uh, the Lendel, that's just a drop. But the gravel stone seal will boost all of your like lightning incantations, stuff like hone bolt, stuff like lightning spear. Really solid choice. And I believe up to if you're strictly sticking in faith and you go up to 60 faith, it is the highest scaling. Now, obviously, you should always try and aim to use something that's going to boost your other spells. But if you just want an all-around talisman if you're using a bunch of different stuff. And you're only going to 60 faith, use that. If you're going to 80 faith, use the Erdtree Talisman. And of course, everything I just told you may be irrelevant when a patch changes things. So keep that in mind. Anyway, climb up on the dragon and jump. Now we're going to have to do a sprint and jump. So right from the middle, leap. Ah, there we go. Get that smithing stone and get the stone word. All right. Um, how are we looking on time? We are we are cruising, actually. I might be able to get most of this done, and maybe I'll just take down the boss. 
Uh, so head on in here next, and this should look familiar because it's basically a replica of the round table hold. Uh, so over here, this is the invader man who probably beat your ass at the start. You get his armor set. You can see now he's just a sad husk of a man. After doing that, we're going to do this. This is the Volcano Manor, and it's going to wrap up Burned Heart's questline. Which one do you want? I'll go for the Sorcerer. Slay your great sword. So of course, kill them. That's going to wrap up his quest. We just got to go back and talk to him. This will also get you the Raging Wolf set. It's used in, like, all the promotional material of the game. Um, there's stuff over there, but you know what? Let's let's go do this room first, because there's a Grace waiting for us. Might as well get the Grace first. Alright, and we're going to grab this painting... And we're going to go knock out the flightless bird. I think we've got most of these done. Let me check to see if there's any we haven't. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are my key items at? Uh, we're about to go get flightless bird. Resurrection. I know we got. Prophecy. That was the summon. We got that. Champion song was the bow. I don't remember what you were, but I know we got you. So, uh, Anyway, from here, we're going to go knock this stuff out real fast. Uh, the first is right over here, Windmill Heights. This is over in Dominula. And I mentioned this back at that episode, but we're just going to head on over here, run past some stuff, and we're going to snatch up the, uh, the painting. In general, there's, there's like a painting for each of the regions. I don't know if there's one for up north, but when I'm looking at it. Yeah, because that would be Altus, your Lyernia. Uh, which one was Prophecy? Prophecy would be Limgrave. You would also be Altus, and then you would be Caled. So I guess Altus gets two. Maybe it's one is supposed to be Altus, and one is supposed to be Yalmir or something. But this gets you Fire's Deadly Sin. Kind of a, a weird spell, the idea that you light yourself on fire. Uh, you take damage, and you can chase people and deal damage. So, you know, um, you're, do, do your thing. It's uh, kind of weird, but it works. I guess it works. I head on over here, though. And we're going to talk to him. Ah, I have the room. Take it. Delmere's Fury. All right, so at this point, he's basically done. Um, he's going to leave soon. So because of that, if there is any skill you want here, I would suggest picking it up. I mean, a couple of these are pretty good. We don't need Quick Step. But, you know, honestly, I would just get them. You're not going to need parry, but... Especially if you're, like, a melee class, might as well just, just pick it all up, you know? That way you have it, because you don't want to, like, lose him. Actually, I think he leaves his ball bearing, so maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm talking out my ass. But who cares? I mean, it's tough. Uh, so, of course, we still have... Before we're done with this quest line and we kill Rikard, we got one more up here with Juno Hoslow. Uh, now, before we jump back to the capital, I want to go check on something, because I noticed Juno's brother isn't here anymore. So let's go see. He may have moved on over to the pot village. Let's go see. Now, obviously, as I, I... Well, back in the original episode, I did of this place. It was before the patch, and I went around and I murdered everybody. Obviously, you shouldn't do that. I've tried to add that as a pinned comment, but this guy didn't exist before 1.03. Oh, do you know what they hunt? This village is... But you should be my hope, huh? Those. All right, that was new dialogue. Oh, actually, I'll just reload the grace. That'll be faster. 
is eventually uh, Dialos comes here. And he comes over here. He becomes the new potentate, and that's like part of the quest line. I'm trying to see if he has advanced since we're already knocking out some other things. Oh, have you heard? I think he said yep. he seems. I even though he says and sin his smooth, but I wish. I wish she were silky strong like you. So once we get that dialogue about a new potentate coming to the village. Um, let's see. Diallo should be here now. We'll find out in a moment. Yeah, he's probably here. Let's see. Well, aren't you full of beans? I want to talk to him. Covered in mud. Oh, my friend. I have to say, you've as you see left the volcano manor. Even a fool like do you pity me? A fool I may be. Do you pity me? So as long as we have that, do you pity me? Well, don't. We should be good. Um, we're gonna rest again because the next thing is there should be an attack, and Diallo's fights them off. I just wanna keep exhausting their dialogue. It may not happen until later, but I'm just checking. Okay, he's still talking about silky smooths, and Diallo's. Still talking about being pitied. A fool I may. Do you pity me? All right, so we're good with them. No more to do there for now. They'll probably advance after we do uh, the capital. Um, there we go. Fortified Manor, first floor. So we're gonna wrap up the manor real fast this episode, and then we'll make our way up the Ur tree in the next part. Okay, so back into the round table area. Let's go here first. It's a big door. Oh, uh, there's going to be two Iron Maidens waiting for you. So you guys know these things by now. You know how to fight them. You know what you got to do. Not that. No! Oh, I was almost dead. I'm still terrible at fighting these things. I get so greedy just because I want them dead. Nope. Dead. I think this might actually kill me. Let's see. Wow, the mashing saves the day. I don't want to make a promise, but I'm almost positive that's the last time we need to see them. So we get the Stormhawk Axe outside, um, let's see. Um, I went ahead of my notes, let's see. We got the Stormhawk Axe, I think there might be one piece, yep, there's that piece of loot. And then we're just gonna activate this elevator, but we're gonna hop off on it, cause there's nothing to do up there for the time being. And we get that. Uh, so this will take us up top to the Divine Bridge. This is the tower that we got teleported to all the way at the start of the game from the Tower of Return. This is the Divine Tower, I believe, associated with Melina, or excuse me, Millennia. Um, but of course, we can't get into it right now because we don't have her great room. So we're just going to activate the elevator and we'll, we'll come back to that at a later time. Right, we have that, we have Rikard's Tower still, we have Morgoth's Tower, we got the Lord of Bloods Tower. That's either Millennia's or it's the Lord of Bloods, it's one of them, but we're going to be getting all those like at the same time anyway, so 
Um, after returning, though, go straight into this door that's already opened. And... In the corner, no. Nope. Okay. We'll get that in a second. Instead, we gotta go kill all the cooks in the kitchen. Black key bolts. Two fingers prayer book. There's no reason to kill those guys, I just felt like it. Alright, and now we're going to run back out. Except this time we're going to go this way. See some dogs and stuff, ignore them. Instead we're going to go up here. Golden Rune 9, the dogs will follow us. Easier than chasing them around, you know? Oh, top. And, you may notice this room. Well, if you don't recognize that room, you'll sure as shit recognize this one. Sanctified Wet Blade, the Hammer of the Blacksmith, Smithing Stone. Uh, we're going to head on into Thea's room. Buy my sword. Get the hero's rune. Up on the round table to pick up the rune arc. Out onto the balcony. Get the smithing stone five. Uh, over this way. Into Gideon's room for... We're calling finger remedy. Break Gideon's desk because he's a bitch. Head on over this way. Dung eater spot for a seedbed curse. And then the last thing is to go to where the fingers are. Um, which I think we're done. Gideon's seedbed. Sword and fingers room back to West Capitol Rampart. Okay. So that'll be our last thing. Oh, uh, da da da, this door. And where is the door? Where is the door? Not you, it's this door. Okay, pop that open, and the last piece of shiny we're going to get here is the Coated Sword. So, um, from here, we'll actually head back to Round Table Hold. Just, it's it's basically a copy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that, like, Round Table exists in an ethereal plane or whatever the case is, but everything here is fine, you know, even though we picked up that stuff. Uh, Blacksmith's fine, fingers are fine, Gideon's fine, everything's fine. Um, but that weapon we got, uh, really nice for faith builds. It's similar to the Cypher Pata, except it's a straight sword. It also has a really, really awesome, unique art on it. I like using that. Well, I took you no matter We're going to go to you. And um, also notice that now that we have a new thing, we can, if I go to something that's physical, that, and see I now have Lightning and Sacred as an additional option. So at this point you should have all of your wet blades, which means a typical weapon can go standard, heavy, king, quality, magic, fly, fire, flame art, lightning, sacred, poison, bleed, cold, or occult. Now obviously there are some limitations. What I mean by this is if I'm starting with something that is cold, I have magic and cold available. If I'm starting with something that is going to be holy, I have sacred and light available. Fire is going to be fire and flame art. But for any of your general use arts, you should be able to go with whatever you want, which is really nice. This opens up your, your customization uh, and whatnot a lot. So we are going to... I need sevens. Ugh. I'm short on the sevens. I can't use that for sevens. I need them. Really hoping to upgrade that. We'll get a thing to buy infinite sevens a bit later. Um, but other than that, we're done. So, in the next episode, we have a bit of side quest stuff we gotta knock out up there. Um, we're gonna be picking things up from... Where's that? West Capitol Rampart. We'll knock out the gargoyles. We'll work our way over to the Coliseum and do some stuff. Work our way over on here to get a boss and a talisman pouch. 
uh, do a side quest that we need to get one of the secret endings, and then if we still have time, I need to check the conditions, but we may just go ahead and kill Morgoth. I'm not entirely sure if I want to kill him yet. I haven't decided. I was thinking about doing, um, because the subterranean shunning grounds, the boss there is worth 100,000. The boss here is worth 120,000. So I was like, well, we should probably do subterranean first, but I'm going to see if there's any conditions I need to be concerned of. Either way, we're wrapping this one up, uh, and I'll catch you on the next episode as we wrap up the capital.